cube root of product of numbers. To find out the cube root, uh, the product of numbers, we have simple two formulas. We can make it as one, like uh, cube root of x into y. So we can separate this. So cube root of x into cube root of y, so on. In, even if we take two, one more, for example, cube root of x into y into z. And then we can separate this cube root of x multiplied by cube root of y is multiplied by cube root of z. So this uh, and so on, we can take a number of uh, splitting we can make. Using this concept, we can find the cube root of any product of numbers. Okay, for example, the first question is find the cube root of question is 8 is 8 multiplied by 125. So don't multiply 8 into 125 again prime factorization the lengthy possibilities you can make into parts. So cube root of 8 multiplied by cube root of 125. Separately find out now. So cube root of 8 is 2 we did previous and cube root of 125. 125 prime factorization. Right? If you don't you can do directly or else do prime factorization and check. 525 so 55 so 51. 5 3 times. So 5 it is. So 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. So cube root of 8 is 2. 2 into 5 is 10. Cube root of 8 into 125 is 10 it is. So some cases we need to uh, mix it up separately. For example, cube root of 500 multiplied by 54. Okay, now this one we can make into parts before that square uh, cube root of 500 is as it is. 54 is uh, with 2 table 2 into 2 is a 4 7 2 into 27 we can make this 54 is 2 into 27 now cube root of 500 into 2 is 1000 up to this first 2 1000 is a perfect cube right into 27 if you get perfect cube we can stop now because 1000 is a perfect cube 27 is also perfect cube so cube root of 1000 into cube root of 27 we can make it to parts 1000 into cube root of 27 cube root of 1000 is 10 cube root of 27 is 3 so 30 is answer Rule of multiplying 500 into 54 again do prime factorization lengthy we can make into parts and right even if you have the negative numbers see for example uh, cube root of minus 16 into 32 right here is a 16 minus 16 or 32 they are not perfect cube so cube root of minus 16 is minus 18 to 2 we can write and this is 32 so cube root of minus 8 multiplied these both 2 into 32 is 64 so 64 is a perfect cube now cube root of minus 8 and cube root of 64. Mm. Already we know that cube root of minus 8 is minus 2. Cube root of 64 is the 4. Because 4 4 is the 16, 16 4 is the 64. Minus 8 is the final answer and so on. So even if it is a negative or positive, we can separately. If it is a perfect cube, directly we can make. Okay, see one more example. Uh, cube root of 216 into Minus 343 is the quotient. Don't multiply. We know 216 and 343 are the perfect cubes. So 216 and cube root of 343 minus 343. So here cube root of 216 is 6. Cube root of minus 343. This you can write minus into cube root of 343, right? So 6 into minus 7 it is. Cube root of 343 is 7. 6 into minus 7 is minus 42. So just a basic uh, formula still you apply just to make into splitting into parts x into y. So cube root of x into cube root of y. In number we can expand. Okay, this is the cube root finding the product of numbers.